sorry, marry three, sorry, ma marry, uh, marry yeah, two, three, and four. But if you cannot do justice between yeah. them, then marry only one. Yeah. So the recommended, even in the Quran, by the way, the Quran is the only one, the only book where it says marry only one. Yes? If you cannot do X, Y, and Z, you cannot do justice with them. Does, it, does the Bible say anywhere that you have to marry only one and not more yes, in the New Testament? The yeah. No, no, but, but that is your interpretation, word, isn't it? No, I, I think it's clear. Jesus, think it's Jesus clear. said it. Jesus said it. Jesus yeah, said what? Yeah, he said, he said, um... Because if you look he said, at... He said, he said, um... Uh, Come back to it. Just find the scripture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, if you if you go to Matthew 22, yes, from 22 to 24 yeah, and 28, the Jews referred to Deuteronomy 25:5 in that particular passage when they were communicating with Jesus. Yes, and from the Old Testament, uh, from Deuteronomy 25:5 in the Old Testament, where it states that if a man's, uh, if a woman's husband dies, and she didn't have any kids from him, then she must marry his brother. Yes, automatically, she marries his brother. Okay, whether she likes it or not, yes. Now wait, wait. Not only that, it goes further. So she marries his brother. Uh, then she must marry his brother, regardless whether he had a wife or not. So even if the the brother has a wife or not, she marries him. So now that that has that husband or that brother of the dead person has not one wife, he means he has multiple wives because his brother's wife died and she marries him. And then it goes further, when the Jews brought this situation up to, Jew, to Jesus in Matthew 22, verse 24 to 28, Jesus did not prohibit this. Jesus did not what? Did not prohibit, did not, did not say this is wrong, you shouldn't do this. At all, he did not prohibit for the childless widow to marry her husband's brother. Yes, even if, even if, they were, uh, even if he had more wives. Instead, Jesus replied to them by saying that we do not marry in heaven and we will be like angels in heaven. So what Jesus said about marriage, he referred to in the heaven. But for the earthly law, there was no prohibition of this man, of the diseased, sorry, the, dece the diseased man's uh, brother cannot marry more than one. Jesus himself did not prohibit any such thing because that was the direct question asked by the Jews who are actually referring to Deuteronomy 25.5 from now, the Old Testament. What Jesus said, I found the scripture, what Jesus actually yeah. said, now, what you need to understand is that in the New Testament, we follow Jesus, what he said. Yeah. Okay, a lot of what he said fulfilled the Torah. Okay, <laughs> fulfilled yeah. the law. So he came, like he would say something like, you have heard that um, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I tell you, if you even look lustfully with your eyes at a woman, you've committed it in your heart. Yeah. So he was giving them the exact interpretation of how they should live. And when the Pharisees came to him and they said to him, um, they asked him about divorcing your wives. And what he said to them, he said, he said, um, which, which scripture are you uh, reading? This is Matthew 19. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start from verse 8. And they just asked him about um, divorcing his um, wives. And he said, he said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your wives, plural. But from the beginning, it was not so. So Jesus is telling them. Is that, are you talking about divorce? Yeah, divorce. Put it, so we're not talking about divorce, we're talking about polygamy. Know, but we're talking about multiple wives. No, but, yeah, about but that's a different topic. Multiple, yeah, polygamy what you're saying, what you're and divorce are Jesus two different never, topics. You're, what you're saying is Jesus never spoke against polygamy. Yeah, Jesus did not prohibit he did, the, in the videos. Verse, in this verse, in this so verse let me finish. Did. Okay, go on. Right. Go on. And he said, um, he says unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, God suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. So Jesus is there to fulfill the law, saying, this is how you do it. I say to you, whoever shall put away his wife. Yeah, divorce. Singular. Yeah. Singular. Except for fornication. Put it here Commit adultery. So Jesus is saying to them. Which verse is that? This is um, Matthew verse Matthew chapter 19, and the last starting from starting from nine. And I say to you, whoever shall put away his wife, except be it for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. So, so he's saying, if you have more than one wife, yeah. except that that person hasn't committed adultery. If that person commits adultery, fornicates, 
you can divorce her. Yes. But if she doesn't... Like for any other, what he's saying is for any other reason, yeah. you can't divorce her. So, if she hasn't or he hasn't committed adultery, and you go and find yourself another husband or wife, and you marry them, you've committed adultery. Okay. So let so me ask saying, you this. He's saying stay with one wife yeah. or one husband. Let me ask you this. Only leave them yeah. for the purpose. By the way, the, the emphasis over there is with regards to divorce, not the number of wives. Yeah, let me let me finish. Wife. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because, so be because obviously when you're going to divorce, you don't divorce all your wives together. You're talking, you yeah, normally you people... Wait, to, wait, depending on what you're saying. No, no, wait, wait. That, wives, that particular you? topic over there is with, with regards to divorce. So according to Christians, does the woman have the right to divorce? According to Christians. Yes, because you follow the New Testament, right? According, you said, to, according to how we follow. Yes. Yeah, she can divorce if she wants. But according to that, it's committing whoa, adultery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If I if I married, yeah. okay, and I commit adultery. No, no, not I if you commit adultery. Any other reason I'm going other than by what Jesus taught. Yeah. So Nothing I, else. So am I. Yeah. There's no need to raise your voice, by the way. Well, I can raise my voice. Calm down. Calm, calm, I can raise my calm, voice. We're not arguing. Religion. We're talking. Yeah. I'm going by normally, what Jesus said. normally people raise their voice when they're arguing. You. You're talking. Okay. okay let me ask All you right. this. If now, what Jesus said, yeah. he spoke about wife. Yes. Singular. Of course, you okay. divorce one wife. Now, you don't divorce I, multiple right, so wives together. My point, then, yeah. Right? You made your point already three no, times. Evan, no, Evan. You have. He just said something, and I want to correct him. Nobody. Right? I asked you a question. I don't commit adultery. If I've married a woman and I commit adultery, yeah. right? She can divorce me if she wants. But according to that, she, she'll be an adulteress. No, she did. no, he said there's only one reason you can divorce. On the that's, basis of adultery. That's for fornication or adultery. adultery. The same thing. Okay. So if I've committed adultery, she can divorce me. Okay. If she did not commit adultery or you did not commit adultery, yeah. are you allowed to get divorced? No. Okay, so if not I, according to what Jesus Okay, said. let me get this straight. No. According to this is the the New Testament teaching, according to you, yes? And you follow that. Yeah. So if the wife has an abusive husband who beats her black and blue every day. Is she allowed to get divorced? You mean like in the Quran? There is, there is wait, wait, wait. Why are you putting, like the, the why are putting this in the Quran? No. You mean like in the Quran? In the Quran, it doesn't yeah, say yeah, beat them black and blue. Can you answer the question I'm asking you? No need to get defensive. I'm not getting defensive. Well, you are. I'm, I'm going like are you even listening to the question I asked you? I'm listening. Okay, so are you going to answer the question? If an abusive husband, yeah. yes, is married to this woman, mm -hmm. does the woman, according to your faith, have the right to divorce? Right. I'll give you an answer. Please do. Okay. Now, According to what Jesus said, now I want to elaborate on the answer. Yeah, go on, go as long on. as you don't jump on the yes or no, because I'm going to give you a yes I or no. I didn't ask for yes or no. I'm going to, I'll give you a yes or no. The answer it's is up no. To you, it's up the to you. The answer is no. No, right? she can't divorce. Wait, okay. I'm going to elaborate. Yeah. Okay? Now the reason, the reason is because if she did, she'll be sinning. She'll be going against God. She'll be disobeying God Almighty. Right? Now, there are several ways to resolve this. How? Right. She doesn't have to live with him. Okay, so separation. Yeah, there's okay. separation. Okay. There's also... Can she get married after the separation? No. No. So, who's no, getting but, punished here? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. <laughs> who's getting punished yes. is the husband because he's not with the wife. He's and what about the wife? Beater. He's a wife beater. What about the wife? She doesn't want to be with him. No, but she can be with someone else. No, she'll be committing adultery. Ah, so if she's 18, she gets married to an abusive husband whom she didn't know was abusive before the marriage. You're saying this 18-year-old young woman yeah. yes who's full of life at that particular point in in, yeah. uh, in, in that time mm. has no recourse other than be single all her life wow if her husband dies she can marry yeah but if she doesn't die then what if, she, if, if her husband doesn't die yes then what and she commits adultery she no 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 she's not committing adultery remember he's an abusive husband what's your question what's the, what's the question, question? You, you you know the question very well i asked yeah. if the husband is abusive yeah. to this young woman Yes? Yeah. You said she has the right to separate. Okay? Yeah, that's one good, solution. Good enough. Yeah, <laughs> good enough solution. so that's far. But you see, it doesn't solve the problem for the woman. The woman is young. This woman who's 18 years old, who, who just separated from her abusive husband, yeah. now has a life of solitude for the rest of her life, according to your faith. Unlike, unlike Islam, where the woman has a right to ask for khula, yes, which is a woman, female instigated divorce. We don't beat our wives. I'm not talking about beating we up. We don't beat our wives. I'm talking about divorce. Unlike Islam, we don't beat our so wives. So you're saying there's no Christian out there who beat his wife? We, we are not commanded by our scripture to beat our wives. Yeah, but the question is about beating our wife. Yeah, hold yeah, on, hold on. We're not commanded now, you know to what beat you, our wives. You know what you have done? You have gone to another topic when you're talking you, about divorce. Well, you're talking about... I will about, address that. No problem. Now, I, no on, problem. I will address that. I'm not okay. afraid of, of addressing that particular point. Okay. But right now, we're talking about divorce. Can you stick to that? So according to your faith, yeah. this young woman is getting punished because of your... That's not what I said. Because in the 21st century... The woman has no right to divorce except 
in the situation where the husband commits hold adultery. Minute, hold so, no, so wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. So, don't tell me there are no Christians out there who don't beat their wives. Yes, they're maybe. Going against God. Of course they're they are. God. Of course they are going against God. Same thing in Islam. If a woman gets beaten by husband and there is a mark even on her, on on any of her uh, of her body, then he is going against the law of Allah and His Rasul. This is very clear. Can you show wait, me that? wait, wait, wait. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's in the hadith. Don't worry. It's in the hadith. But right now the topic is about divorce. So shall we stick to that? So what you said the solution is separation. Well, but I hadn't finished. I hadn't finished. I was elaborating on my answer. Okay. So I was going to show you the wisdom. Okay. The wisdom that God is trying to. Uh, uh, to um, Are you going to address the point I make? I'm going to address that. That she is now single. No, that's your she has, she has not, trying to show you. No, no, show me, uh, show show me a solution you. for this woman who is 18, now separated you. from her husband, abusive husband. What is the solution? Go on. Right. Now, in God's eyes, what God wants to do yeah. is he wants to give people a sense of morality and longevity in a relationship. All right? So now, if somebody's beating somebody, somebody's, somebody's mistreating somebody, mm -hmm. Like I said, they have the first option of separation. Okay. Now, many things can happen during that separation. We've all probably been in a relationship where after a few weeks, you start missing each other anyway. Then you start talking. Well, that's, one then you, that's one option. Then you start coming back together. Mm. What, what God wants, he wants to leave that space, right, for people to come back together and remain married. One wife, one husband. Not just at the first sign of problems, go looking for another wife or go looking for another husband. He wants longevity. If you have to bring in your pastors, if you have to bring in your friends, if you have to bring in any kind of counselling to make it work. He wants to, wait, let me finish. So he wants to show people that you need to have strength to last through the hard times. Just as soon as she doesn't wash the dishes, you don't throw her to one side. Yeah. Okay? So this is what God's What if he doesn't work? What? He's still abusive to her, then what? She was a Christian, he yeah. was a Christian. Yes. He knew the, he knew Yes, he did. Was but he still abused her. Then what? Yeah, but he's gone against God. He will be punished. I'm talking about the woman. What punished. then? What then for her? You still haven't given a solution. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Ah, it's unfortunate for the woman to remain single all her life. Wow, that's a solution. It's unfortunate. That's a solution. Is that the solution? It's unfortunate. unfortunate. Her luck. Right, wow. Right, no, no, okay. No, now wait, wait, wait a minute. You see, unlike unlike Christianity, Islam has a solution. In Islam, that woman, we don't just say, "Oh, the poor, unfortunate woman." Let her be. Let her be away from this. For, 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 let, let her. No, that's not Islam. That's not Islam. Show me that in the Quran. I challenge you. Show me the Quran in the challenge. Yeah, you come back to me. But right now we are discussing. I given the. He's given the verse where he talks about divorce. We weren't talking about divorce in the first place. I don't know why he brought that up. But anyway, with regards to divorce, in the 21st century, a Christian woman has no recourse to remarriage from separation from an abusive husband. Like he said, unfortunate woman. Unfortunate for her. Yes, unlike, unlike, yeah, the, the same thing. No, no, the same thing applies to the man, right? What's that? A man cannot remarry if he wants to after getting separated from an abusive wife, maybe. There you go. So again, the same rule applies to the man. The only way they can get divorced is by fornication, by adultery. No wonder we see in the West so much adultery and fornication amongst the couples that there is more than a 50% chance of getting divorced in the community in the Western world, whether it's in America or Europe. Yes, I think in America it's probably more than here. Now this is because that is the only oh, solution. That is the only solution. What we should have is the solution of muta. That's what we should have. We don't have muta, by the way. I'm, I'm a Sunni, so don't bring muta in. <laughs> I'm a Sunni Muslim. Alhamdulillah, we don't have muta. Muta is something that is prohibited in Islam. If you weren't aware of that, get yourself educated okay, on it. Well, like All right, go and speak to someone else. Yes. Now this is the situation. So let's get back to the polygamy that I was talking to you about. In in Exodus, there is actually a verse with regards to. Oh yeah, actually, you know the. Hold on, wait, wait. The, I remember now. We were talking about the verse in two, Second Samuel, verse twelve. Yes, there was a mention about killing the child. Are you going to make a comment on that? Why was the child punished for David's uh, for David's adultery? The child was punished because the child was created out of sin. Because it was created out of sin. So kill it. It was, it was a product of sin. So kill it, right? Whose fault was it? Was it the child's fault or was it David's fault? David gets forgiven and the child gets killed. Well, again, Think about it. Again, you're, you're, you're speaking of a, a child that's born 
Every baby was killed in the flood. Say again, say again. You're it. struggling now. Before you were very no, confident. No, 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 he said something. Every baby yes. was killed in the flood through the sin of man. Yeah, we don't talk about the flood right same now. Thing. We don't talk about No, it's not the same thing. Killed through it's sin. not the same, same thing. thing. We are not. A, the it's sin it. of the child was what? For being killed. It's not, it's not the sin of the child. You're missing the point. Okay, so whose sin was it? The sin was is the fact that it was born out of wedlock. No, no, sin. Whose sin was it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So sense, to punish, to punish David, yeah. the child had to die. My friend, whose sin was it? Do you understand what whose I'm saying? Whose sin was it? David. Thank David, you. David okay, sin. who got forgiven? David got forgiven. Yep. Who got killed? The child got killed. Did the child commit any sin? Now, did I? No. So, so are you saying God is unjust? Do I need to say more? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I need to are say more? God is unjust? Yes. So are you saying God is unjust? I am saying, I am saying according to your Bible, according to your Bible, the reason this child got killed is because his father committed the sin. But his father got forgiven. Why was the flood? Why did the flood happen during Noah's time? Exactly. How, how much chance did they get to, to basically ask God for forgiveness? They got a lot of time. You see, in the time of Noah, the flood didn't come instantly. It happened after years of Noah telling them, stop it. Stop committing all those sins. Stop committing X, Y, and Z. Did the child get any chance at all? Did the child get any No, it didn't. Can I ask a question now? No problem. You can shake your head. You can shake your head. You know, you know that. Can I ask a question? By the way, I got four people against one. So can, can you, it is unfair to this gentleman because I started the discussion with Ray. Can I please get a question? This discussion started. Yes. No, no. You haven't answered the question yet. Do you think it is, do you think it is fair? for some child to be killed deliberately for the sin of the father. Do you mind? I'm talking to you. Are you going to answer my question? Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to add, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me yeah. answer this question. And, and I hope you don't mind. I'm, I'm going to use uh, the Quran. Are you going to answer my question? Yes. You're going to use the Quran to answer my question. Okay, go on, go on, go on. In the Quran, I'm listening. it speaks of how Allah brought judgment on people and they were they were prostrated in the morning. You know what I'm talking about. Carry on, carry on. I'm listening. Okay. There were babies amongst those people. Yeah. He obliterated whole generations. Yes. Carry okay. on. I'm listening. Yeah. Carry on. But what did those babies do? Babies are a product of their 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 parents. Mm. So because their offspring was a product of wickedness. Allah brought judgment on all of them. He didn't spare any of them. Yeah. This is just the nature of how he works. Okay. So we have to, we have to accept Can I respond to that? Go ahead. Okay. Now with regards to the flood, okay. did Allah, did God warn the people first through his messenger, Noah? Yes. How long for? The Bible, I think, say 100 years. Yes. In the case, in the case of David, how long did he get before he was forgiven? But, uh, again, you're talking about apples and oranges here. No, I'm not. I'm not. You brought that up. You brought up the flood. If it's apples and oranges, why bring it up? The point I'm making is that a product of sin. It okay. Was, it, 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 it you know. You know why? You know why I'm why I'm you know why I'm telling you this. Wait, my friend. You know why I, why I'm telling you that this in the case whenever Allah brings a punishment upon the people, yes. He wants David them. Knew he did Look, wrong. I'm talking. Let me finish. David did what is wrong. I agree. I agree. But David got forgiven without any blood sacrifices. Yes. David got forgiven for the very sin that many of the Christians tell the Muslims that you guys are committing adultery when you marry more than one. But here I'm telling you that this is what God tells you. He has got laws in the Old Testament, in Exodus, in Deuteronomy. If you have more than one wife, this is the law. And this is what you need to do. But you see, in the case, wait, wait. In the case of, for example, the killing in the Bible, many times God tells you that the reason those children were killed was for vengeance. It's not for any sin that was committed. I'll give you an example. In Numbers 31, yes, when Moses, when Moses kills, the people of, Mid of Midian, the Midianites, what does he do? He knows they're losing it. Yes, he tells them to kill everyone. Yes, whether it's the grown-ups, whether it's the male, whether it's the female, yes, whether it's the child, and who are, who are the only ones to be spared? 
the ones who have not slept with a man. The girl 